there and welcome to Connecticut Style. I'm Teresa LaBarbera. Thanks for joining us. Coming up, we hope to inspire you with a wonderful story of the power of friendship. We'll meet the co-authors of Just Kate, a dual memoir of two lifelong friends and a spirited child with Down syndrome. Plus, it's a wild Wednesday. The Woodcock Nature Center is here with all sorts of critters your kids will love. And I'm here in the kitchen with Chef Heidi Lang from the Fig Cooking School. Hi and now we're having drinks today, aren't we? We are. It is hot outside, so we thought we'd make something refreshing both for a breakfast or brunch uh, and also for the afternoon. So we have a lovely strawberry lavender smoothie oh. and yeah, and a Turkish mint uh, lemonade with some ginger in it. Oh great, yeah. I can't wait to help you make these. Yeah, they're Sounds great. fun. All right, Heidi, look right into camera two. <laughs> Tell everyone what they need to do. So sit back, relax, you're having lunch with style. The one and only Orange Volunteer Fireman's Carnival returns to the Orange Fairgrounds Thursday, August 2nd through Sunday, August 5th. Discount ride specials are now available online at orangevfd.com. The Orange Volunteer Fireman's Carnival is back. Don't miss it. Going shopping is a little different for our family. Chris ran for Congress because Washington had lost touch. They didn't listen. So when we go to the store, we don't get much shopping done. I just hate the partisan bickering. How are you going to bring jobs back to the state? Keep on fighting for women's rights, OK? Nice work on Buy American Chris. I'm Chris Murphy, and I approve this ad because as your senator, I'll never get tired of listening. A good cop in a bad marriage dies mysteriously. People are calling you a murderer. Get the real story from the ultimate eyewitness, the victim. Nothing you're seeing here is what it looks like. ABC's Final Witness, all new tonight, 10, 9 central. How can Bob's and Milford finance people with bad credit? It's no mystery, it's experience. I've been getting car loans for people with bad credit for over 20 years. This new GMC Acadia could be yours for just $189 a month. You could drive away in this brand new Buick Cross for just $199 a month. See Bob's first and drive away in the car you deserve. Bob's of Milford. He just wants to get you alone. Open Sundays. A true friendship is a powerful thing, and that's just the case for our next guests. The co-authors of Just Kate, a dual memoir of their lifelong friendship and journey with a spirited child with Down syndrome. Joining me now are best friends, Noelle Alex and Angela Martin. Ladies, thanks so much for being here, and you look great. It's you great to be here. Thank, Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so us. much. All right, let's talk about the book. You, me, you say that it's a dual memoir, so I'm assuming it explains both of your lives, follows both of your lives? It's, it's, a, story. it's, it's a story of both of us and our 30-something years and how we, um, just as friends, carry each other along the journey. All right, and I guess we should go back a couple years. How did the friendship start? Well, um, Angela and I grew up in a small town in upstate New York called Wappinger Falls, and we met in first grade at a small Catholic school. Oh. And really, we're friends at first sight. Um, yeah, I was we a were new student. instantly friends, yeah. instantly friends. And we went to grade school together, high school together, different colleges. Um, Wound up actually meeting though in college when we did a semester overseas when we were juniors and kind of have been friends ever since we were five years old. Oh, I love yeah, that. That's yeah. such a great story. So yeah. you kind of had parallel lives, would you say? You were really uh, close throughout most of it? Most definitely. I, we, uh, you know, it was marriage, mortgages, kids, <laughs> and chaos. And uh, I had my second healthy baby boy, and six weeks later, Noelle had Kate. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Um, and you know, how did uh, Kate's unexpected birth initially affect you? Well, I was 28 years old. I was working as a lawyer in a large New York City law firm and had one daughter already, my daughter Caroline, mm -hmm. and went to deliver my second child thinking it would all just be, you know, just as it was the first time. And Kate was, had Down syndrome. And I found out in the delivery room. And um, honestly, there's probably no other words than I, the news took my breath away. Um, I was devastated, sad, I had no idea what was ahead, and at that moment, you know, thought this happy life I envisioned for myself may not be. Um, so, you know, and that was initially. Um, mm -hmm. So certainly, that I feel like changed my life 
for the better, but at that moment, I didn't know it. Um, I mean, you're very young at the time, too, so... Mm -hmm. um, I, wow, that's just really... What, did you, what yeah. was your reaction? And for me, I, I questioned fate and faith. Here I had this healthy baby boy, but it could have been me. Why was it Noelle and not me? And as a writer, I began just to write mm -hmm. and write all my questions and think through all of my, my worries, everything. And I, I came to really believe that Kate came to us for a reason and someday we would understand why. Came to both of you really yes, for a reason. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I, write the, I wrote those thoughts in a baby card and sent that to Noelle. And I was home in my apartment mm -hmm. um, and all my visitors had left and this card came and it was from Angela. And I hadn't spoken to Ange since I had had Kate. Mm -hmm. And she wrote a message on the inside cover of the card and there was, words I had heard from other people but in particular she wrote this one statement that just resonated with me and it was just a sentence that she said um, most people don't know their true mission in life but how lucky is that Catherine knows hers she was born to give love receive love and teach us all and I just kept reading it over and over what a strong and message it was right? and I thought because Angela believed it I believed it. Angela was always the smartest one growing <laughs> up, and whatever Angela said was true, I just always believed was true, and her words just kind of stuck with me, and I read the card over and over, and I put it in my bedside table, that some, like where some people would keep a Bible, and I would pull it out and read it during that first Probably year. Probably whenever you needed a whenever little Whenever I little needed help, it, right? and, and I never told her. Yeah. It, um, till many years later, and as it turns out, we both married men from West Hartford. Um, so the story continues the now. The story, story continues. continues. And now we live 10 minutes apart ten again. 10 minutes apart. And we've always had this yin and yang. Uh, you know, Noelle was always the fun one, and I was the studious <laughs> one. And, um, I and that's to, still kind of true. <laughs> totally. And I, I used to be very shy, and Noelle pulled me out of my shell, which I'm so grateful for. And, and Angela would do my physics homework for the <laughs> year that so I would wait, get in I trouble. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, let's talk about Kate. Tell me a little bit about her. Um, there's a lot to talk about with sure. Kate. She was born fiery. She was born <laughs> stubborn. She was born independent. And she was born hilarious. She's just, gosh, she's the greatest gift. As all my daughters are, um, she's just got a wild card kind of personality. <laughs> so it's created... Just tons of chaos, tons of fun, tons of unexpected. I'm sure there's never a dull moment, it seems like. You know right? what? And Tim and my husband and I, Tim, always say, what would we do? Like, well, we'd have nothing to talk about because <laughs> everything centers usually around, like, whatever insanity is going on, kind of involving See. Kate. And that's my, whenever I go visit my family, they're like, oh, give us another Kate story. They love to hear all the new ones. Mm -hmm. And they said, you've got to write these down. You've got to write these down. So I was driving home from New York and um, called Angela. And I'm like, hey, could you help me write... Um, a story about Kate's antics, um, oh. Angela being a writer and creative and me being a lawyer who writes one sentence that goes on for two <laughs> paragraphs that nobody can understand. So is that um, how the book got started? That's how yes. the book got started. Oh, okay. It all comes together. But then as we started writing, um, we realized that really wasn't our story. Our story really wasn't, it was going to be a magazine article about Kate and fun. Mm -hmm. And then it turned out to be a very different story. Yeah, it evolved into something bigger. We very quickly knew through self-reflection and talking and laughing and crying a little that uh, it was something more. Mm -hmm. Tell me uh, Kate and lemons, yes. which is kind of unique because not everyone bites into a lemon or really enjoys lemons. Yeah, and why would you? <laughs> exactly. Why would you slice it in half and if she does go <laughs> eat them? Um, there she not... is. We're watching her do it. <laughs> um, She's been eating lemons since she's been a baby. Um, and it's not like, the, the significance is not making lemonade out of lemons. It's really just that Kate loves lemons. And Kate lives her life doing exactly what she loves to do without regard as to what she's supposed to do. Got it. So she loves lemons, so she so eats she's lemons. She's gonna enjoy those she lemons. She wears a robe to school because if she wants to, then yeah. That. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> good for good for Kate. Uh, I wanna ask you about the, uh, the organization you both are involved with, the Band of Angels. Um, Band of Angels first, I guess, as a parent with a child with Down syndrome. It's, it's a resource. Um, it also sells real ch retail products, okay. um, note cards and calendars, but most importantly provides support services for families um, with children with Down syndrome. So we're part of a promotion this summer. Mm -hmm. uh, Band of Angels puts together new parent packages filled with all the resources, support materials, etc., for new parents of babies with Down syndrome, and Just Kate is going to be a part of that. I love that. And just lastly, what, what do you want people to take away from the book? Well, I have to tell you, it's just the, the Just Kate way of living. 
I living, like that. just living joyfully, fully accepting anyone and everyone, just for who they are. We're all imperfect. We're all gifted, and and that just Kate way of living and and how Kate lives. She doesn't view anybody differently. She views the principal and the the individual who does custodial duties equally the same. She you know views the person who's got thirty piercings. Mm -hmm. Equally with I no guess reservation, and I should too. And All that's right. kind of what we've learned. Ladies, thanks again. The, the name of the book again is Just Kate. Thank you. Thank so you much. so much. All thanks right, for having us. Oh, my our pleasure. Coming up next, uh, Chef Heidi Lang shows us how to beat the heat with cool, refreshing drinks. Don't go anywhere. your car wreck you deserve to know what's going on with your case imagine getting instant access to your file day or night I'm Carter Mario we give our clients exclusive 24 7 online access to their case file just click to see up to the minute details from your computer or smartphone a law firm that's always there for you imagine that get Carter 1-800-900-6700 Seven years ago, a mastectomy helped me defeat breast cancer. I had complications, and it took me quite a while to recover from just the surgery. Women used to be sent home right after a mastectomy because insurance companies refused to cover their hospital stay. Susan Bysowitz got a law passed that made insurance cover my time in the hospital. I'll be proud to vote for Susan Bysowitz. She fought the insurance companies to get the care we deserve. I'm Susan Bysowitz, and I approve this message. When I design furniture for my collection, I draw upon the places my life has taken me, combining fashion, style, and a bit of fun. My goal is to create beautiful, contemporary pieces that appeal to every style, every budget, and every state of mind. At Raymore & Flanagan, we know no matter what you're looking for, you'll find Cindy Crawford's home collection has designs that will work beautifully and comfortably in your home. Find my collection now, exclusively at Raymore & Flanagan. Beverages need tons of sugar to burst with flavor. Heidi Lang, owner of the Fig Cooking School, is here today with two simple recipes for summertime drinks that are low in sugar but indeed. high in taste. I yes. like the sound of that, Heidi. Yes, indeed, indeed. Uh, these are kind of meals, too, right? If they're going to fill you up? Well, yeah. At least one of them? Exactly. The strawberry uh, lavender smoothie is a wonderful breakfast, especially in this heat and mm -hmm. it's 95 degrees outside. <laughs> what a refreshing way to start the day, especially if you use a thicker kind of yogurt that has a lot of protein in it. Uh, um, it's a wonderful way. To start the day because it actually fills you up. I like that. Well, let's get started. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're actually going to start with the uh, mint, uh, okay. Turkish mint lemonade. And what we've done is we've already started the water boiling. So what we're doing is we're going to be adding some ginger. Here, would you like to add that? I'll help. Lisa? And all of this goes all in? All of this, yes. It's fresh ginger from my garden, as a matter of fact. Ginger? It's the, excuse me, a, a mint. It's fresh mint. I mean, I'm not good in the kitchen, <laughs> but I didn't it think is, that was ginger. It is mint. <laughs> That's it, all going in? It is it's all going in. And that water was already boiling. Okay. So you want to make sure it's boiling. And then we're going to add two, you can add that's that lemon. Ginger. Uh, and add that lemon juice. Oh, all of it? Yep. How much do we have that's here? One and a third cups. Okay. And we're adding two good sized tablespoons of ginger. If you like a really gingery, mm -hmm. you can add some more, okay? So when that comes back to a boil, we're gonna shut that off. Okay. And we're gonna cover it and let it sit for a half hour. Okay. So all the ginger. Seeping, all the is that what you said? Seeping. That's seeping? Yes, yeah, steeping. steeping. With a tea. <laughs> um, all the ginger, all the lemon's going to be extracted into this water. So. Magic. We have already done this, oh, wow. and it's already cold. Okay. So you have to filter it. Obviously, this is pretty yucky. So, so we're going to get rid of we're the. We're going to uh, get rid of all mint. the mint and all the ginger. Okay. And there, we don't have oh, to worry about it. Oh, it smells delightful. Okay. And yes, now, now you can really smell that wa the water. How, so how right the water just go right there? Yeah. And then what we do, and it's in your in the recipe, we're going to take something called uh, simple syrup. You can actually buy simple syrup, but well, you made it, didn't you, Heidi? Of course, <laughs> because it's a ripoff to buy. Okay. You know what simple syrup is? Hot water and sugar. That's all it is. So why would you buy it? Okay. Uh, if I was a retailer, I wouldn't say that, but you know, it makes a Are lot of sense. Are you just boiling it we're together? Just boiling the water. Okay. And adding two thirds of a cup of it's a, a cup of, um, uh, of water and uh, two-thirds of a cup of sugar. Okay. So we add that. And now we have our base. So 
Now we have four cups of water. It all depends on how strong you want your lemonade. Uh, if you want it weak, you'd add three cups. If you want it really strong, you would add... Um, what makes it Turkish? Turkish, it's the ginger and oh, the mint. Okay. And there you go. How long did that take? Not the, long. The longest all. thing that's it's gonna just take it sit, right? is letting it sit. So you can see right now it's nice and bright green, mm -hmm. but that's gonna change and it's gonna get that color um, in about a half hour. Um, and then when you're ready to serve, you would add some ice to it, as much ice as you want to okay. make it as refreshing you want. If you wanted it to be an adult beverage like we were talking before, yeah. you could add some vodka to I that. Why not? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Why not make it a uh, sort of a mojito like kind of cocktail? I like with that vodka. idea. All right. Okay. So um, let's make so a smoothie. So now we're gonna make a smoothie. And this smoothie is extremely easy. Okay. Um, the key ingredient, you know, a lot of times when, uh, when we make things, we like to have a, an ingredient that you don't expect. Okay. And here it's going to be lavender. How many people add lavender to I, a smoothie? I wouldn't have thought of it, Heidi. There you go. Um, and if there's time, we'll, we'll show you how we make this lavender into a powder. I've started to make some for you. Okay. Um, but we'll see how it goes. And this is what it's going to look like. Got it. This is what powdered uh, lavender looks like. Now, people use like. lavender to fall asleep, to calm yes. down. Yes, glad you asked that. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing for indigestion, mm -hmm. insomnia. Uh, has a calming effect. And interestingly enough, when you cook with it or bake with it, or in this case in a beverage, it, um, it tastes just like it smells. And oh. it has this calming effect on you. It's a wonderful way to start the day. I like uh, that. So. We've got some yogurt, and you can use any yogurt you like. We use uh, non-fat, non-fat thicker uh, yogurt, plain yogurt, but if you wanted to add vanilla yogurt, you could. Okay. okay. We're going to be adding some vanilla to this, so there's, it's really not necessary. But you can use any uh, vanilla, you, um, any kind of yogurt you like. Okay. Okay. So that so went in with a couple yogurt. bananas, right? Right. And then we're going to, we have three bananas in there, and we're going to take a teaspoon of this wonderful powdered lavender. lavender. I love this idea. And just there we go. You can add up to a two teaspoons to this. It all depends on how strong you are. So I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons to this. All right. And then we're going to add a, a teaspoon Is that vanilla of vanilla extract. Okay. Vanilla extract. We have about yes. a minute left. And then we're going to add, we're going to put this on and we're going to then add, once that starts, mm -hmm. we're going to add some ice and some, some strawberries. And when this is all boiled, when this is all done, you're just going to add some ice to it. So in the, in the last few seconds, I just wanted to show you what this dried lavender looks yes, like. Yes, please do. We're going to put this in the oven for about two minutes at 350. And then if you have a mortar and pestle, you can put it and... Uh, I don't have one. But exactly. I and that's why I actually <laughs> want to show you the other way to do it, which is just to take it in your hand and squeeze it. Oh, same idea. Same Got idea. It. Okay. It's the same idea. Either way, and if you do it long enough, you'll end up with this powder. Okay. Um, and you can use that also if you're making uh, chocolate chip cookies. Oh, Sprinkle I love a little on idea. some chocolate chip cookies. Lots of different things you can All do. All right, with we're going to try these at the end of the show, and of course, the recipe will be on WTNH.com. Thanks so much for being it here. It was really a pleasure. <laughs> All right, up next, it's a wild Wednesday. We'll meet some outdoor creatures from the Woodcock Nature Center. We'll see you after the break. Don't go anywhere. You go from zero to 60 when the buzzer goes off. You need to listen what the call is, and then you're starting to think, what am I going to do when I get there? What exactly is the dispatch? It all comes into effect depending on what the call is. Be ready for my job in the morning, you have to mentally prepare yourself. Communication and teamwork is key, whether it's just two of us on the ambulance or the eight of us going to a fire. We all work as a team. Meet the Murphys. They got free carpet and free flooring during Empire's whole house sale. Buy carpet or flooring with installation for two rooms and get carpet and flooring for the rest of your rooms free. So Jen's carpet was free, Jack's flooring was free, and little Joey's carpet was free too. Don't miss the whole house sale. Buy two rooms, get the rest free. And right now, pay no interest till 2014. Call today. 800-588-2300 Empire. Today. Don't miss On the Green with Gill, Thursday mornings from 5 to 7 a.m. on Good Morning Connecticut. Go to WTNH.com for a list of towns Gill will be visiting. Sponsored by Big Y World Class Market. Only the best for your family from ours.
Planning your family barbecue? Make sure to serve the freshest and best quality beef you can find. All natural USDA choice Angus beef from Big Y. 100% vegetarian fed from the USA. No antibiotics or hormones. The only thing we add is the label. Big Y. Only the best for your family from ours. All right, folks, good afternoon. I'm Storm Team 8 meteorologist Gil Simmons. We want to just update you. We have the first thunderstorm now that we are tracking that does have a warning with it. Severe thunderstorm warning for extreme southwestern Connecticut until 1.15 this afternoon. Let me zoom in and show you exactly what we're talking about on our storm track radar. Huge cluster of lightning here, and we are getting reports just over the border from where this thunderstorm already moved through. Three-quarter inch diameter hail. It's now hugging the immediate shoreline. So the Mianus River area, Coscob, eastbound, right through the inlets there, all the way to Chapin and Stamford. You have some big time thunder. This is slowly moving to the east. You can get some flash flooding with a storm like this as well. But again, the biggest threat, and this is the 95 corridor as well, hail is a strong possibility with this thunderstorm. It's moving to the east very slowly. This will also impact sections of the beaches there and Darien. And if you know a boater out there on the sound, this is going to slip out across Long Island Sound. There is a marine weather warning in effect right now for the western half of Long Island Sound, also up until 1.15. The rest of the state quiet. Just want to give you a quick tour here. Extreme northwestern Connecticut. News 8 has your back. We're watching closely with our storm track radar of this cell over in New York State. That will likely drop into Litchfield County over over the next one hour, we'll have updates here on the hour. We have a severe thunderstorm watch for the entire state going until 9 o'clock this evening. Wanted to give you a quick update. Get more at WXEdge.com and WTNH.com as well. We'll see you in about 10 minutes. That this is causing a whole bunch of developmental issues such as ADHD, childhood obesity, loneliness, loneliness inability to problem solve. Mm -hmm. And so, what they're suggesting is kids need to get outside, get some sunlight, get out there, get connected. For our purposes, if they don't at least develop some kind of an interest in what's around them, mm -hmm. there's no reason to conserve it later. So, we like to say that we're, uh, we're, we're creating healthy children today and conservationists for tomorrow. I like that. Can we take the, uh, the salamander? Absolutely. Out? You bet. This is our yellow spotted salamander right over here. It's one of our larger amphibians. You know, I'm going to let have. you hold that one. Fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. People often notice that they have their yellow spots on them, which is an indication of uh, a poisonous creature. Okay. Now, he doesn't bite, or he's not venomous or per se like a snake could be, but what he does have on inside him is something that makes him distasteful to other animals. So oh, I see. usually bright colors are telling everyone, I don't have stay to camouflage. Yeah, stay ah. away from me. I'm not worried about you eating me. I understand. Now, should they take a bite of them, the fun thing is, is that they'll actually regenerate their tail they'll have oh, new it'll grow toes. Right back, huh? yep two toes arms they can grow it all back absolutely all right well let's bring out our uh, fourth guest here absolutely well we saved the biggest for last this is our friend Mo. Oh, Mo hello, is Mo. a common snapping turtle. Now, the reason I'm able to pick him up like this is because he's a snapless snapping turtle. Oh, okay. It's a little is bit sad. Yeah, in fact, a lot of the animals that we teach with, are, they can't be released back to the wild, so we give them a second lease on life with educational programming. Oh, we take care of them. Mo actually was born with a broken jaw, so he can't close his mouth. Mo stands for mouth open. So oh. he's Mo the snapless snapping turtle, and How so we were Mo? able to teach with him. Mo is probably about 30 years old. He came to <laughs> no us, kidding. and you can see. The same age. What do you well, know? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he has this deformation in his shell that you can see over here. Now I do want to send a warning to people. They see me handling a snapping turtle. And you don't want to do this Never out do in that. nature, right? Leave that to somebody who knows what they're doing, because their necks can actually reach all the way around behind them. Oh, and wow. we tell people, I know a lot of people want to help turtles cross the road, uh, and it's good to help turtles cross the road, but do it carefully. Make sure you know what kind of turtle that you're handling. Um, there's an expansion going on, right? That's absolutely correct. It's our 40th anniversary, and we've expanded our programming so much over the last 10 years or so that now it's time to expand what we do at the Nature Center. Wow. We have uh, a plan to take the footprint that we have now and really up the Nature Center, make it a fantastic people for people from all over Connecticut to visit. I I like that. And you're yeah. located in uh, Wilton? Wilton and Ridgefield. Okay. That's correct. Can I touch Mo? Please feel free to do so. Absolutely. What other animals do you guys have? Ooh, we oh, have bird. Oh, I think Let's I aggravated see. them. There you go. No, nope. you just woke them up a little bit there. Uh, <laughs> we have animals. We have birds of prey. We have hawks and owls. We do have some exotic animals that we care for uh, as well that we use for our teaching programs, especially our field trips and things like that. What does Mo eat? 
Mo actually Mo has his little tongue sticking yeah, out there. Yeah, you can see him right. Well, he can't close his mouth, so oh, that's he actually true. gets. I guess it is. Don't feel too badly for him. He actually gets hand-fed shrimp by our staff. So. Oh, I'd like some hand-fed yeah, shrimp. Exactly. He doesn't have too bad a life, that's for sure. And he's got long nails. Oh he my sure goodness. He sure does. He's quite a powerful guy. Hey, buddy. These guys, they don't really protect themselves by going into their shell because you can see the plaster on the bottom right here is not mm -hmm. very large, so they're very exposed, which is why they have this aggressive nature to protect themselves. Typically, you'll see them snapping and all sorts of things like that. He's been raised by hand from a baby. So he's a nice guy, I guess. He's not good. He's, he's, he's probably lost the will to snap since he can't anyway. Oh. All right, Henry, thank you so much for being here and bringing all these it's animals uh, with you. For more information about the Woodcock Nature Center, visit WTNH.com. Click on Style. Stay with us. More Connecticut Style after the break. We'll be right back. Can you wave, Mo? Hi, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> The one and only Orange Volunteer Fireman's Carnival returns to the Orange Fairgrounds Thursday, August 2nd through Sunday, August 5th. Discount ride specials are now available online at orangevfd.com. The Orange Volunteer Fireman's Carnival is back. Don't miss it. Let me tell you some of the reasons people get into trouble with credit cards. A job loss or salary cut. An unexpected expense. A divorce. As founder of Consolidated Credit, I understand that credit card problems are not about overspending. It's about emergencies and unexpected situations. There's a lot of ways to get into trouble with debt. There's only one trusted way to get out. Consolidated Credit. Call Consolidated Credit now. 1-800-774-8296. Hi, I'm Jamie Whelan, owner of Connecticut In-Home Assistance, a family-owned and operated home care agency with over 50 years of experience. We serve Connecticut families in need of in-home assistance. Whether it's 24 hours a day, for just two hours a week, our 250 compassionate caregivers are available for your loved ones. I will personally meet with your family to assure the right caregiver for your needs. I'm Jamie. Let our family help your family. Have you applied for Social Security Disability and received a letter like this denying your benefits? We help people with their Social Security Disability claim. Call the Holler Law Firm at 1-800-333-3163 for a free consultation. All right, we're back here in the kitchen with all of our guests. Now, Heidi, how do you finish off the smoothie and the lemonade? Well, if you're serving this for brunch, you need a nice, clear uh, glass pitcher or another colorful one for the lemonade. Add a little ice and a straw, a and you're ice done. And a straw, and you are ready to go. All Beautiful, right. tall glasses would be great. Let's uh, pass these out. But in the meantime, ladies, where can we find uh, Just Kate? Just Kate is available in paperback on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble, and very soon will also be available on uh, all the e-products with the e-book. Very good. And Henry, tell us uh, one more time uh, about the Nature Center. Uh, you can learn more about us at woodcocknaturecenter.org, O-R-G. All right, all dig in, everybody. All our programming's up there. Sounds great. We're yeah. just about out of time. Thanks for watching. Make it a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, everyone.